Hi guys, so I'm just doing a short video to demonstrate how to repair the diaphragm on a BMW 683 tweeter. I believe the tweeter is very similar for the whole 68 series, so 685 and 686s, um, just slightly smaller um, housing uh, here on, on most of those. Um, so I would imagine the same principle applies to repairing those tweeters too. Um, so once you've removed the tweeter from the cabinet, and to do that you need to remove the mid-range speaker from under, directly underneath the tweeter um, by popping out the plastic housing around the mid-range and unscrewing the eight screws behind, uh, behind that housing. Remove the mid-range and you'll be able to get your hand up into the cabinet and unscrew the tweeter, unscrew this from the tweeter, which holds it to the um, holds it to the cabinet, and um, and then pop out these two pegs here very carefully. Be very careful when you're when you're doing this because it's very easy to bend the front part here. Um, okay, so one thing I will point out is that, and you probably know this already anyway, but I was. Uh, impatient, couldn't find my um, the correct screwdriver, so I'm using a screwdriver which unfortunately has a magnetic tip. Um, I would advise against doing that. However, the damage is already done on mine, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to remove it. Um, firstly, you want to start off by removing these two screws here. you've done that this is the worst part um, and it's the trickiest part and it's the, the scariest part when you um, to remove to get to the diaphragm you have to remove this this front housing here and to do that you have to be really really gentle and um, re remove it like so is this I mean if you can get like a sharp object down the um, on the inside here it's preferable because uh, as I say it's very easy to bend the front part of the housing um, is literally literally just stuck down, as you can see. Um, so I'll put that to one side. Now we can remove the diaphragm housing. It's secured by these three screws here. So you just want to remove those three screws. Once you've done that, the housing just pops off. And you can put this to one side. And now you can access and um, pop out the dent um, in the tweeter. If you can, use a rounded um, soft tool to do so. So I use, I, I don't have a rounded one, but I use the rubber on the end of a pencil um, just to push the dent out. Um, be really gentle and and even you know you can put your finger on one side of it and and use that to push up against to get the dents out is how I did it um, you can see if you look on the other side as you're using the rubber you can see you actually don't need to apply much pressure at all in order to to remove the dent um, don't use any sharp objects don't use your finger or your fingernails um, something really soft and rounded is, is preferable so the dent I had in this was really nasty um, and you can see that the dent is pretty it's completely gone, but you're left with kind of like a, a couple of creases, which I can live with. Um, this is my third tweeter of this speaker, so um, I'm kind of fed up with spending £65 on it at each time, so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, and I think it's come out okay, I can live with that. So, yeah. Good luck.